Hi, I'm Anthony L. Elmore in downtown Memphis on the mighty Mississippi River, bringing you another hot and fiery Black Memphis history lesson. One of the key factors contributing to the development of Orange Round was location. By being outside of Memphis, it was to a great degree almost isolated from the influences of the larger white community of Memphis, thereby giving the young community a chance to develop its own character and personality based on ethnicity and kinship. You see, the greatest advantage that those who lived in Orange Mound had was that those who grew up in the community was not subjected to much white supremacy, racism, or black-on-black -black racism. You see, while many women worked as domestics or maids for white people, or say Mr. Jones, who was a sanitation worker, or as we know, a garbage man, when he came home to the community of Orange Mound, he was perhaps a deacon in his church, and he was respected in the community as Mr. Jones. Now, the parents had to live with racism, but not the children. The best, this is best explained by Mrs. Hazel Glover. So much, we had our own movie theaters, we had all kinds of eating places on the Park Avenue. We could just go anywhere, we could had our grocery stores. And when we went to school, then they told us we were from a low socioeconomic place. I said, no, baby, we were rich. <laughs> I can argue with the teacher. Great grandparents were one of the first settlers within. Well, it wasn't a community then, it was just a settlement. And they came to the settlement in Orange Man. In Orange Man. Well, I think the word community sums it up. You had people who uh, had common goals and people who uh, sought to uh, uh, rear their children in a safe and vibrant community and they did what they had to do to make sure that that happened. You could be a garbage collector, but when he came into that community, this was Mr. Jones. Mr. Jones is not viewed to be the garbage collector. Mr. Jones is the head deacon of Beulah Baptist Church. He is the superintendent of the school. He is somebody of, of note, of worth. And Orange Mound gives him that. The home that I lived in, my father built it. I was uh, born in that home. Dr. Spate was the attending physician. And then my brother, nine years later, was born in that same house. I was born and reared in Orange Mound. I was born on Marsh and Hill Street. And um, in 1942, my family, when I was six years old, had just started first grade, my family moved to the home house where we live now. I have seen family activities of seven generations in that house. We are part of a huge tradition uh, that goes back till 1939. Uh, when my grandfather first came to Orange Mound with his family, uh, one of eight children that my father was. Everybody knew everybody, you know. <laughs> if, if I was down the street or on another street and I was acting up, uh, <laughs> Miss So-and-so knew me because she knew my parents. We went to church together. Uh, uh, you know, my brothers and sisters went to school with each other, so, so we knew each other. You couldn't get away with anything. No one uh, uh, felt out of place. We always felt a community. Uh, we felt that love. We felt supported in this community. Orange Mount has always been, as far as I can remember, a child, a community that stuck together, uh, a community that looked out for each other. Um, it has gotten away from that a little bit, but we're trying to get back to that. As we know, Orange Mount was founded as a place where blacks could own property many, many, many years ago. Uh, it was great back then. We didn't, we didn't, we didn't lock our doors. Yeah, you know I mean, you could walk up and down the street and, and a lot of nights the doors weren't locked. You could, so anyone could come in. And anybody that's in Orange Mound, that's out of, that grew up in Orange Mound, you won't find a one that'll say a discouraging or a negative word about 
their experiences in this community. The Orange Mound communities are like a, a family. It's a close-lit family and it's handed down from one generation to the other. Everybody here is like family, you know, and they treat each other as family. You know, we all uh, eat together, we exercise and work out together. Orange Mound means safety, health, love, much love. We have so much love here. It's a great place. It's a beautiful place. It's a learning place. Orange Mound is yet still alive, thriving, a healthy community. We participated in a lot of activities, a lot of committees in Orange Mound, you know, what that was going on. And uh, whenever they have the different meetings or we we're trying to get something passed or we want to go and, and fight for, I used to be there. It just was a good history-making place down there. I mean, all the politicians would come here, like Steve Cohen. He used to come there all the time. Best hamburgers that I think ever in Memphis, not even, even trust my buddy uh, Boggs' uh, Huey Burger. Tyler Burgers were the best. Now, some people like the sausages more, and I know there were a lot of fans for the sausages, but I like the Tyler Burgers. Ford used to come in there all the time, you know, and uh, we sit out and talk. I'm Anthony F. Elmore in downtown Memphis on the mighty Mississippi River, bringing you another hot and fiery Black Memphis history lesson.